People across the tri-state finalizing their plans to travel this weekend for the unofficial start to summer. Yeah, it's here, but there are some warnings you have to be aware of before you hit the road, you head to the airport. Fox 5's Robert Moses right outside the Holland Tunnel in Jersey City with a breakdown of everything you need to know to do it right. Robert. Reagan, one warning we have for you pertains to timing, as in when you should leave to try to avoid traffic if possible. The experts say the earlier the better, but if you can't leave right now, you might wait until later tonight, if at all possible. Fair warning. Today is expected to be the busiest getaway day for the New York region this holiday weekend, with congestion at its worst between 3.15 and 5.15 this afternoon, according to AAA. The agency projects that about 4.2 million people, or 5% more than last year, will use MTA bridges and tunnels between today and Monday. The Verrazano Bridge is expected to be the busiest of those crossings. Across the country, AAA predicts 39.2 million people will travel 50 miles or more for the holiday. Most will drive. 39.2 million travelers would represent an 8.3% increase over last year, even though nearly everything is more expensive. Gas prices continue to hit record highs. AAA says the average lowest airfare is up 6% compared to last year, and mid-range hotel rates have jumped 42%. One piece of good news, daily car rental rates are down 16% compared to last year. A busy Memorial Day travel weekend has in the past accurately predicted a busy summer travel season. According to AAA, top domestic destinations this weekend include Orlando, Seattle, and Miami. Internationally, those top hotspots include Vancouver, Dublin, and Paris. Live at the outbound Holland this morning, Reagan, back to you. All places I'll try not to go. Okay.